next patron question comes from Gaijin American asking, what are your thoughts on labor unions and union busters? Should corporations have a CEO to worker pay ratios or a more horizontal distribution of power or be forced to do so by governments? For example, German companies have 50% of workers represented on their executive boards. Um, I really have I don't really have an opinion on this, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm I think like you need I need access to a lot more data to be able to have an opinion on this as well, right? Um but let's just look at it from a um you know if you want to look at it from a th theoretical perspective and what seems to have been working historically if you want to look at that labor unions and union busters should corporations have a ceo to uh, okay yeah this is really going to be dependent on r research you know like like i can't think of any way i could address this from a philosophical perspective without actually being able to yeah i don't think you can because sometimes there are certain things that you could comment on even um because you just know from a from a theoretical perspective you know that liberty here works really well often or like some government control over here works for, has worked very well oh, often so you could just be like well my guess would be that this would work and this would work but this question is very so specific um that i don't think you should really have an opinion on it unless you have access if you have looked at the research and see what actually works and what actually doesn't work right actually let's use this as a good teaching opportunity for not having an opinion right um it's a, it's, it's okay for people to be able to not say i don't know right like yeah let's use this as an opportunity to say like if you if you're somebody that hasn't looked into this and doesn't have the research background or haven't looked into the data and what not just okay it's important not just look at the data because data you could take data and you could come up with the wrong conclusions from it have seen the data but also have seen expert opinions of the data that's you know, and also research, peer-reviewed research studies interpreting the data. Okay, that's that's also very important. Okay, if you have, if you don't have that information, then you having an opinion about this might be very irresponsible. <laughs> All right. So there are like I think a lot of times people think like, if you don't know, if you don't know something, that shows that you're ignorant. But there are situations that if you actually act like you know something, that is more ignorant than you know, saying I don't know something because this is very, very technical. This does, th there's nothing intuitive about the answer uh, of such a question. There's like, if you don't know the research and you just put two and two in your head together and you're like, well, I think this would work because of, it just makes sense. You know, well, that's not how real life works. Many things in life are in complete contradiction to what intuition would suggest to us, right? There, I mean, if you wanted to go by intuition, then the earth is flat, okay? It's like, that's what our, intu our intuition suggests, right? So imagine us getting something like our intuition getting that so wrong, and then apply that to something so data-driven and so numbers-driven, like, uh, uh, like a question like this, right? So if anybody answers this, okay, even, even if somebody wants to answer it with just like, guessing they have to be very responsible by like this is just a guess i have no clue i haven't seen the data i'm just guessing for the fun of it just to see if i'm right or wrong just to see how good my intuition is but nobody should take my answer over this seriously because i have not seen the data in this right so it's okay to play around with guesses sometimes but only if you like make sure that you tell people like this is just a guess please don't take me seriously right but if anybody you have to test whoever you're following. If anybody has a specific um, confident answer to a question like this without showing you that they have actually looked into the data around this, then that person, that's a major red flag for, for trusting that person for future information. So just be careful with that. The most responsible thing for, for, for in response to a question like this is that I have no idea, unless you actually have been involved in looking at the data. 
Well, like, what kind of... If I had to guess? No, no, I... I, 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 Like, what kind of data are you looking for? Like, what what outcomes are you looking for that would sway your opinion? Like what has the highest utility? What has the highest productivity? Like what is the most efficient? Like what variables are you? Yeah. I mean, you have to, you, you, you categorize all the stakeholders, the, the number of the people involved and the, their utility relative to everybody else. And you try to come up with the idea. Are you trying to, is your measurement of utility is just to lift up the worst off or just a general aggregate of utility, regardless of who's being affected, you come up with that. And then you look at the studies, you look at the history, you look at different case studies, um, you, can, you look at uh, expert opinion, multiple expert opinions, because if you're just fishing for expert opinions, usually you could find whatever the hell you like, <laughs> right? So you have to, because there's all enough expert opinions for you to be able to come up with any conclusions that you like, not any, but a lot of them. So you have to like, make sure you dive, you look at a vast number of expert opinions. You, you have to look at how, you know, you, you, you don't just like listen to experts just uh, talking on YouTube or something like that. You have to see if it's published um, in any major public, you know, the work has been taken, cited by other scholar, uh, people, experts or not. So it's like, it's like, it's not easy, right? You have to like go a uh, deep dive, but if you don't have time for that, oh, actually you could do Occam's Razor by actually listening to a couple of experts who have done the research. And because you're not looking into the studies yourself, you could just do an Occam's Razor like, well, these, this seems to be what the experts seem to have been, but given that I haven't looked at the research myself, I'm going to just say it's very unlikely for nine out of the 10 experts to be wrong about this. I mean, it's still, it's still possible, but unlikely. So, I mean, and if you see, well, it seems like it's the, the pretty divided in the middle. So you could be like, it's inco- inconclusive, right? Um, you know, but you could be like, you could be like, based on what I've seen the experts say, it's very likely that this works and this doesn't work. Um, but I'm, you know, things change and I'm willing to change my opinion if new data, better information is presented to me, right? So you, if you if you can't do a deep dive, you could just look at some expert opinion and do an outcomes raiser and do a uh, probability of what you think, right? Cool. Yeah. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.